Hey guys, welcome back to Wrench to Drive. I had the W2D4 out for a little uh, shakedown drive. And uh, I'm pretty happy, guys. It's the first time I had it out where nothing went wrong. Now, you may be thinking, oh, 3D printed. Uh -huh. What went wrong? Well, guys, uh, it wasn't really the 3D printed stuff that went wrong. It was uh, kind of a case of of me putting things together a little shoddy a couple of times, you know, wheel nut coming loose and other nut coming loose and then I broke two wheels you might have heard me talking about that on another video so this time I was running these nice uh, steel wheels here and they worked uh, just fine with these uh, cheapo uh, super swamper tires uh, I've run these before so they're good they could be a little taller for this truck but yeah they worked real well guys my only knock my only knock and it's the, the swankiest part on this thing that's my uh, major criticism is that uh, these uh, these axles, that giant pumpkin, not ideal guys, not ideal. You'll hear it clanking probably quite a bit in the video. It, uh, it, it was a rock magnet guys, they were they were whacking into it willy nilly. And I, yeah, so there's a little bit of scuffage on there guys, a little bit of wear and tear from smoking in a rock. So if you want to keep these things pristine, uh, you might not want to run them on a rock crawler like this bad boy. Now that being said guys, I think this is the uh, the original SCX-10 setup, so you know, it's, it's pretty old, it is what it is. And it's not like it doesn't work, guys. It, uh, it performed real well. I, you know, I had no problems, so I, I can't complain. Uh, it's pretty slow running. I was running 2S with a 550 motor. Uh, to be honest, I just wanted to make sure it, uh, it was working properly. I was running this, uh, this uh, ESC that was out of my Kyosho phaser. Uh, it was having troubles running the phaser with, uh, with the 14-turn uh, motor. And I, I, don't, I think this has got quite a few more turns on it, so I thought I'd try it out in this thing and, and see if it actually is capable of running it. I'm not 100% sure guys, I gotta check because I think it might have been down on speed because this ESC is uh, prone to cutting out and, uh, and putting out drastically reduced power. So there might be some more performance in it than you're seeing. I know it goes slow guys, it's, it's by no means fast in this video. Like I said, the goal was just to get a run in and not have anything go wrong. So it did, uh, it did succeed in that respect. I rolled it over once, nothing serious, just you know, minor tumble and obviously nothing broke. Uh, if it's something that broke in that tumble, it would be pretty sad, guys. And the only other problem, aside from the uh, the axles uh, clinking into things, was a uh, noisy drive shaft. And I think it's the front one, because uh, I got a little bit too much angle on it. I'll try and show you here, guys. It's uh, The angle is a little radical, guys. And I, uh, I tweaked the front end as much as I dare, put a little angle on the pumpkin. And uh, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, modificating uh, to get that to work properly. Uh, maybe it might not be the front who knows maybe I'm wrong maybe it's something else squeaking but it sure sounded like a squeaky drive shaft to me you might hear that in the video too it's pretty obnoxious so yeah all things considered performed well guys and uh, yeah so enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned wrench to drive or drive to wrench